What's up, Fragrance Fam? Welcome back into the channel, man. Today we're going to be doing a uh, review, man. We're going back in for a second look. I did a first impression on this video at work. Here is the review, guys, and we're talking Club de Nuit Untold, a BR540 clone. All right, guys, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back into the channel, man. Peace to my new subscribers. Peace to my return subscribers, man. Y'all know the message. Peace to everybody in the fragrance community, guys. So in today's video, we're talking Club de Nuit Untold from the house of, of Moth. One of the new releases from the house. Got a lot of hype in the community. Um, I didn't buy it when it first came out. Honestly, I was not going to buy another Baccarat Rouge 540 clone because i feel like i have enough of the dna but i had to see what the hype is about about this fragrance guys and here we are we have it right here club de nuit untold so the presentation i really do like the bottle i think that this thing does look nice will look nice sitting up on your shelf with your other uh collections guys for sure i will say though that these bottles are fingerprint managed so i'm wiping it off with a cloth right now 100 ml bottle guys 3.4 ounce now this thing is supposed to retail at 50 dollars but i did not pay 50 for mine guys i'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all that i did get my bottle from ebay that's just me. If I don't go to Triple Traders, it's going to come from eBay. And on eBay, I got it for a seller uh, roughly around 85. Now, I know that's totally, I paid overpriced for it, but I wanted it. I wanted it quick, you know what I'm saying? And so I had to pay and I paid $85 for it, but normally retails for 50, 100 ml right here. Um, presentation is nice. Now, Guys, your atomizer is going to be gold. So don't worry about my atomizer being silver. I had to make some switches around, um, but your atomizer, when your bottle do come, if you already have this one, then you know the cap of the, on the atomizer will be gold, but mine is just silver for the moment. Um, yeah, that's the presentation. Let's go ahead and get into the note breakdown and talk about this fragrance. Guys, in the top of this fragrance, and if you are familiar with the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA, as soon as you smell this, you're gonna know what's going on. In the top of this fragrance, though, you have saffron, jasmine, and in the base, in the mid, I'm sorry, amberwood, ambergris, and in the base, you have some, looking at the notes right here, fragrantica, fair resonant cedar. But this is Baccarat Rouge 540, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This to me is the closest I done smell to the original OG one. Um, I will give it that. So if you're looking for something that smells exactly, I mean like not, you know, with a twist or nothing like that, then you might want to get your hand on a bottle of this. And I'm going to spray a little bit. Like I said, this atomizer is kind of jacked up, but I'm going to spray a little bit. and. For the most part, this is Baccarat Rouge 540, but what I do like about this one, and I will say is that the saffron in the top of this one definitely sticks around a lot longer than the original. And I think with the original for me, just going back off of my memory, I believe that one dries down to being a little bit more woody than this one right here. I will say that this one remains a little bit fruity still, um, matter of fact, I'm going to put the original atomizer back on this because I'm going to spray it for y'all. Um, I want to spray it some more because I really do, I really do enjoy it. Like it's not, you know, the Baccarat Rouge DNA is not a bad DNA, guys. And this one was done very nice. This one was done very nice. All right, we got the original Addy back on there. Here we go. We got some space. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Open it. You get that saffron. You get that jasmine. Of course, you get that cotton candy sweetness, that ambergris, little woody. I'm not getting the fair resin. And the wood in here, I guess they say is cedar, but this is the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. But the saffron sticks around much longer and it almost leans to the Middle Eastern kind of version of the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. That one I really do enjoy as well. I believe it's the uh, UAE version. 
So saffron sticks around with this fragrance. And then of course you get the ambergris, you get that sweetness. You do get a little woods in it as well. But like I said, the only difference to me, and definitely from the OG, of course this, the saffron in this lasts longer. And the OG one dries down a little bit more woody than this, but this is nice guys. This is nice for sure. I know a lot of people are written and raving about this one. And I can see why if you're just talking about the sheer scent of it. When you when and where you want to wear the 540 to me, you can pull this off. To me, this is more so a daytime scent. It's a lot, you know, it's playful. Um, I won't say it's, you know, I guess the youth can probably a younger guy can kind of pull this off too as well to me the scent dna is playful it's nothing around to where you might want to put a suit on with this or anything like that at least i would to me it has that casual attire thing kind of going on if you smell the 540 then you know what i'm saying to me it's not a suit and tie affair it's not a formal occasion affair um to me it's it can be probably used as a a lunch date but I, I i guess in the end to me the 540 is just a daytime casual fragrance if you want to wear it at night go ahead and be my guest but to me i'm not putting this on with a suit i'm not rocking this to the club i'm not rocking this on date night definitely not uh for a man even though this is a unisex fragrance um definitely not for a man i'm not putting this on with a suit uh in my opinion now performance for me guys here's where here, here's where things get a little bit tricky because people were saying this was a beast mode fragrance. In my opinion, I did not get beast mode performance. But footnote here, I do go nose blind to the to the scent DNA of this. So I'm gonna throw that out there to you. But even still, it's not a bad performing fragrance to me. It just wasn't beast. So on your skin and clothes this is going to last a great deal i will say that this will last eight hours plus at least i did all my clothing now for me smelling it on the projection side i could not smell this past an hour um and like i said i do go nose blind to it i will say that i do not go nose blind to the release uh, the one from Latafa called Anna Abaya. I do not go nose blind to that one. I'm able to smell that one. That one is roughly around $18. I'm able to smell that one. It has decent projection. Only thing it is, it opens, it opens up a little bit more fruity on the fruitier side than the Baccarat Rouge OG. But when it dries down, I see what it's trying to do. And that one is only 18 bucks. But for some reason, I could not smell this one past an hour. Some people say, um, you know, that's the nose blind and I do go nose blind to it. But overall, for me, I did not get the beast mode performing kind of up. Uh, how I want to put this, I did not get the beast mode uh, performance that some of you guys have experienced with it. But it does last long on your skin and your clothing. But just keep in mind, if you're unable to smell it. And I know that doesn't mean that other people won't smell you, but for yourself, if you're unable to smell it after an hour, that means you just went nose blind to it. But overall, for your money, if you're able to get it at 50 bucks, for your money, the presentation, and overall performance of the fragrance, I definitely think is warrant a purchase. But to me, still, I probably still we will be reaching for my Latafa one because I'm able to smell it on the projection side uh, better than this one. But overall, guys, still a good fragrance pickup. And definitely, if you're able to find it for 50, get it for 50 bucks, it's definitely warrant a purchase. If you did a first impression on this fragrance at work and spraying it um, a week later, it is. Um, I can't say I got any improvement from it. So I'm going to keep using it and keep using it. I might double back around with an update video for you guys, but for the most part, the performance has been the same for me, but it's still a great buy um, for what is cloning. 
uh, overall presentation and just overall total longevity. All right, guys. So that was my thoughts on the Untold by Armaf. I know a lot of you guys had this. We chopped it up about this fragrance when I did my first impression. And um, a lot of you guys are rock liking it. It's not bad fragrance at all. So that was my thoughts on that one, guys. If you need more content, click on that video header up on the screen. You want to like and subscribe to the channel, you can go and do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Salute.